Lotist Incarnation Realty Group, we are evolving every single moment with the new experiences. Let's learn together. Woohoo! Celebration, celebration, celebration! Over 110 subscribers. In this video special edition, we invite a private lending queen, founder for you to succeed private lending, Marinella. You know, I'm a single parent. I work in three different jobs and I have kids and I have a family and I had no life. Really, I was just working all day and getting really tired. Make a very small income, really, like around $50,000 a year. So that was not um, great because you can't really do much with that money. That was the turning point. I use my money to lending money for investors in real estate. My investment is secured on um, the real estate investment itself. And they pay me percentage return of investment, which is an income, basically. You said previously you had a three part-time job. What kind of a job is that? Yeah, had? so I work for a school district. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm an education assistant, and then I specialize in behavior. So I had other jobs on the side. So now you said you're a private lending business gives you triple of that income, three jobs are combined. Yeah, so mm -hmm. what I did, I was able to uh, leverage the equity of my house. And, uh, with that money, I help other investors to scale up their business and I get paid. And so this is all passive income. This way, I didn't have to have three jobs. Yeah, and I have uh, also, I teach private lending. So mm -hmm. now I have two income. One is the course, the just private lending private lending to the real estate investors, then you people think that you have a really rich in cash, in, but you said you creatively you're just taking out your house equity and then it started lending out. Accessing the equity, any interest that you pay, uh, let's say it's a home equity line of credit. You know, if you use the line of credit just for investing, then you can, you know, interest it's tax deductible. So it becomes an expense to be just for investing. First home that you can get the equity. When did you buy that house? I bought my home in uh, 2009. Oh, okay. So uh, my home, I have secured the HELOC on the house and then I increased the HELOC once uh, the value of the home has gone up, right? So I can access even more money now. As I keep growing, my investments grow more and more. And that's why I'm able to now have uh, four times the income because it keeps generating the cash flow. You just use the same money to reinvest over and over again, basically. 2009, you bought the mansion or you got regular? No, no, it's just a regular townhouse. It's mm -hmm. a 1500 square foot house, mm -hmm. not very big. If you own a real estate, a real mm -hmm. estate asset, whether it's an apartment, whether it's a townhouse, a single detached, uh, you could refinance your house, access, secure a HELOC on it. Now, 2023, you still keep that house? Yes, I have the same house, which I keep leveraging. Now my house is worth three times than what I bought it for. Exactly. So if we bought, let's say, 500000 that time, then now it's $1.5 million. That's right. To lend it to the other people. That's right. Leveraging more money to expand. Yeah. So, and you keep making money. And so the money that you make, you keep reinvesting it. Just, uh, you keep uh, scaling up. Of course, if it's cash, you're not paying any interest on it. So it's just cash that you're reinvesting. It's, I'm using a HELOC. And that's why I can use that money over and over again. Okay. So you're going to keep continue. And you use the same money, have the return. And of course, the returns, you know, have to be higher than what uh, the interest is exactly. of your HELOC. Exactly. And, uh, and it has to make sense, of course, right? Mm. You must be really smart to all calculation and, you know, numbers. Of course, you have to, yeah, you need to make sure that the investment that you're doing, it's worth it. You need to also uh, understand the risk of the investment. So you can't just go in into private lending without understanding how to do the due diligence without understanding the risk of the project, what the extra strategies are, and how they're going to pay your money back. That's why, you know, it's important to educate yourself before you get into private lending. There's a whole process that you need to learn. It's to have a real estate lawyer, an accountant, you know, people that can help you. It's a team effort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. plus, you know, you have to learn about it. So that's why I created my course. You know, I can teach what I've done, all my processes and systems in place. And, you know, people can do the same thing that I do. I didn't want to buy other properties, so just such a choice. Some people mm -hmm. want to buy more properties, mm -hmm. and I like just the passive side of it, where I don't have to deal with tenants. 
I don't have to deal with of the property. Private lending really appeals to me because it gives me that freedom. It also gives me the time because now I have more time to dedicate to myself or my children. I can uh, travel more. I can enjoy life. That it's your money working for you. You're not working for the money. In general, people work for the money. It's the opposite. You have your money working for you, and you have the time to enjoy your money that you're making. Where did you learn that? strategy in the beginning i learned through i joined a real estate educational group and so through that group i learned that there was this strategy however they didn't really teach much about the prevalent strategy within that group so mm -hmm. i had to really uh, learn it by myself mm -hmm. so yeah. i searched a lot on the internet i read books search and of course it took me time to sort of put in practice what i've learned mm -hmm. and i took the risk i took risk and i have a very high risk tolerance so for me it was okay to invest and to do what i did you said you bought the 2009 your primary house when did you start to you know agree or he lack access i started in uh, 2020 when did you start to learn about private lending in 2019 so how did you really thinking to real estate market is the best to invest even lending out the money mm -hmm. it's your security right the real estate it's actually very secure because mm -hmm. the real estate asset itself has a value you know it's a security where you know mm -hmm. you will get your money back for sure pretty much you took 10 years so you bought first house in 2009 and then you start learning about the investment for through the real estate 2019 it took 10 years how did you find out that group i found out on my own through like i think it was on facebook that i found oh. out my parents used to invest in real estate Mm -hmm. and they were entrepreneurs so it's kind of a little bit in my blood i was interested and and i've always invested in real estate myself like you can invest cash you can invest through a heloc yeah those are all ways that you can use yeah uh, and so you're not using that money to create more debt you're mm -hmm. using that money to create income now i don't know what the future is going to hold honestly mm -hmm. uh so but you know um as we can see that the value of real estate it keeps holding up the market is still strong and investing in real estate is definitely a good investment it's a solid investment mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you know you are the private banker as a private lender you become the bank because right. you basically lend your money mm -hmm. just uh, lend my money to for real estate investing uh, mm -hmm. to other investors mm -hmm. yeah so and you know there is different ways of, of lending money but i specialize mostly for real estate started investing 2019 now 2023 so how's your business portfolio now i've done over 30 transactions now in the past two years uh, quadrupled my income focus primarily and full-time on uh, real estate and private lending i've been able to enjoy my life more because i have more time private lending has definitely uh, changed my life mm -hmm. in a positive uh, way mm -hmm. your position would be in 10 years later i will be very very rich <laughs> so, mm -hmm. keep investing in uh, real estate keep mm -hmm. doing private lending mm -hmm. and enjoy it mm -hmm. And um, like personally, I don't believe in generational wealth. So as I am making my money, I'm also spending it and travel and enjoy, like I said, the things that I love to do, uh, enjoy my family, friends. And as I grow, I also like to give back to the community. I like to help others with my knowledge and I like to change people's lives mm -hmm. so that they can achieve the same financial freedom or if they're looking to increase their income. How you, you know, people can remember you as? Well, I hope that people will remember me uh, as the one person who has made a difference. I know that I can make a difference because mm -hmm. by teaching what I've been doing with mm -hmm. through private lending strategy, you have the opportunity to change your life. So build up your confidence by educating yourself believe that you can do what i've done mm -hmm. and then you can improve your life and you can generate a passive income mm -hmm. because you have your money working for you it's just your money that is generating the income so mm -hmm. it gives you that freedom of time because you keep generating income there is no limit the more money you make the more money you're gonna generate diversify and um and honestly you know knocking wood I have never lost my money. So you still keep the three job? No, no. I only teach my course now mm -hmm. and I do private lending. That's it.
Oh, okay. So you retire from the other three jobs? That's right. Yeah. I'm now a full-time uh, real estate investor. Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> That's exciting. That's exciting. Oh, wow. You need to know how to do it and mm -hmm. that will help you to get ahead in life. Yeah. So, so you're the person you can teach. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, advertising your course. So the course is basically for both, uh, you know, it's for investors or for anyone who wants to learn about the prevalent strategy and learn how to generate a passive income for themselves. You don't have to have thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, you can just start with the $5,000. $10,000, there's a lot of, the, uh, you can get returns between, you know, 10 or 12 and even higher, depending on your risk tolerance. And you can start earning money and create that uh, passive income. So then how much is your course cost? For the, the course, really around $3,000, you get a lot of free bonuses. Like you get, um, you know, the whole package, it's worth it $6,200, uh, but there's a lot of bonuses. You can go to my website, prevalentinqueen.com and contact me if you want to know more. So how long it course? Three full days plus one, but you can join at any time. Mm -hmm and watch the recordings and then attend the live session. Thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next video.